They're looking forward to a good contest as usual between these two teams. The last time they met was in the final, which Ravi Shastri referred to in the Independence Cup. India won by six runs. So off the mark. So Sri Lanka on the way with that single. Shot of the game, and even though it was uh, certainly close, umpire will have none of it. But a rather nervous start here for the new opener. Just ball from a little bit wide, and I think umpire Orchard thought maybe just a little high, and also going down leg side. So a good decision. He's got to watch out, Gunnar Wardner, though he doesn't get very far forward. That's hit him a little bit high. Time that well come back for two comfortable runs. Found the gap. Didn't quite have the timing on it to carry all the way. And they collect two. That's where second slip was. And he had been moved out would have gone straight into the lap of the second slip fielder and he was there in the last over the edge found but all it does is bring the first boundary of the innings yes he went a little bit wider but uh, he must rue that decision an over ago this would have been out would have gone straight to second slip as it turns out he's taken a man away and it really has uh, given that man no chance as Rudin. A indication of what you were saying just to push down the ground carries right back past the bullet to within a couple of meters of the straight boundary just to push that's exactly what he should be doing that was beautifully played and you notice how uh, this is just raced off the bat he hasn't tried to hit it too hard he's just presented the full face and that's fairly raced away was good running by Jayasuriya, not so good running by Gurnawardana. He was very slack indeed in coming through, and in fact, if the ball had hit the stumps, it might well have been close. Well, he's played all around this one. It's a little bit on. He's got away with it. Instead of looking for the run, which he should have done immediately, Jayasuriya has played a lot of one-day cricket, and then he didn't even run his bat in. So, very bad cricket from Gunnawardana. Watch this. Jaya Surya is through straight away. Robin Singh, to his credit, realizes the batsman the other end. And look at him, he's just stretching. He's not running his bat and he's not even running at full pace. Very unusual error in that position by Ajay Jadeja. Really one of the best in that position in the game. Very fast, usually very reliable. Not too bad a bounce for him there. He really would feel that he should have cut that off. Yes, he would have been a bit unhappy with this because that's Jaya Surya scoring uh, region. Yes, he should have cut that off. It was actually quite a nice bounce for him. I think he didn't quite read it right. It was on to him a little quicker because it was so well timed by Jaya Surya. But that's his hitting area. They've got to cut off as many runs as they can in that area. Otherwise, uh, Jaya Surya, if he gets away, he's dangerous. Not a tall man in the covers there, Robin Singh, but again, great athleticism, leaping high to just pull it down. This is as well timed, he's hit it right into the ground, not an easy one to feel that, and it's beautifully stopped by Robin Singh. Had the crowd on their feet, they thought it was a catch, but uh, he's hit it straight into the ground, of course. Very athletic feeling, and certainly an improvement from uh, Dakar, where uh, India didn't feel particularly well. over the top, that's well played. Not quite off the mid of the bat, but it'll still go all the way. Yes, into the fence for Paul. So it's not like now, starting to hit the ball over the top and straight. Good shot, straight down the ground, lovely straight drive. Well, that was over-pitched, and it was dealt with very well.
Short in the air, wide of the fieldsman, going down to the fence for four as well. Yes, he's strong. When he hits them, they tend to get to the boundary. So, Guna Wadana doing pretty well here. A couple of fours this over already. Coming into his own, no Guna Wadana. Just fractionally short. Not too sure if Agaka is getting a little bit tired. This is just his fifth over. Shouldn't be yet. But certainly getting just a bit wayward with his bowling. Run rate is increasing. And it's going to increase more. Lovely shot through the offside field. Pitched up and thrashed square of the wicket. That's a good shot. Guna Wadana is really playing well now. Let's watch this delivery. Oh, in the air, into the gap. That's for The Sri Lankans are now starting to play a sort of one-day game that we've become used to over the years. That was a very, very forceful shot. Well, there's a man plays square of the wicket on the offside to try and catch anything like that, but that was powerfully hit. He had absolutely no chance, although it went in the air. And the man there isn't the burst of fielders either. That's Azrudin, Indian captain, but he had no chance. Go oh, into the gap again, beautifully played. It'll run away to the boundary for four. Well, they were a little scratchy early on, but now they're starting to look good. It was not a long spell for a fast bowler, but they've been playing a lot of cricket, these cricketers these days. And in this heat, can take its toll. Oh, in the air, into the gap, that's another four. Six fours in nine balls. They've decided to go for it. And uh, the Sri Lankans in the crowd, well, I suppose they're quite used to it, but they do love it. So uh, there's a man in short. And then they're everywhere. They are all over the place. shot as I put them all on that side it won't make the slightest difference when these guys go they do go just a little bit of uh, yes, a little bit of bat there a little bit of uh, touch of the pads oh that should have been out that should have been stumped that's a miss wide given but that popped out of the gloves of the wee keeper yes I think Mongia will be a bit disappointed with this this would have been a big wicket for India Lost his balance and Monga lost the ball. He's cleaned him up. That's a Kumble special right up in the block hole. Gunawardene looking to play across the line. Played all over it. And India have struck a very important blow. Very good bowling for Kumble. Right in the block hole, he's played right across this one. Gets the foot right across, trying to hit it to mid-wicket, and that's well bowled. Bowled a nice and straight, a few missile hit, and that's exactly what he did. So Sri Lanka lose their first wicket, 79 for one. That's good running. Directed the sums, but the batsman's comfortably home. That's got away. Chase for the man in the deep. Kundun cut a fielder. And another couple of runs for Jay Surya. He's got a very good arm. He's bowled in round his legs. That is a big wicket for the Indians. And what a first wicket to get in one-day internationals for Nikhil Chopra. Jay Surya, the man dismissed. Very, very good bowling by the young man. Try to fake a charge to Jaya Surya, and the man didn't lose his nerve, Chopra. Temptation when a man does that is to pull it down short. He didn't, he kept it up to the bat, and he's got it round his legs, and that's a big wicket for England. They'll be, uh, for India, rather, they'll be delighted with that. Sri Lanka lose Jaya Surya. They 85 for two.
Azaruddin rightly attacking. He's got six men in the ring, one man in a catching position. That's a slip. That's, That's in the air, and he's gone. December is dismissed, and what a turnaround we're seeing here. Sri Lanka had taken off to a good start, and the Indians have picked up three very quick wickets. Well, a very, very soft dismissal. Aravinda De Silva will be mortally disappointed when he gets back to the dressing room. That really was a very ordinary shot. Good change of pace from Pumbley, and he's just chipped it gently. Very easy catch, and Ganguly will make no mistake with that. A very soft dismissal, and Aravinda De Silva departs. So Sri Lanka being pulled back, 86 for three. So they've lost three wickets for seven runs. That's brought their captain to the crease. He can afford to buy this time at this this stage simply because Sri Lanka maintaining a good run rate is still over five runs per over and that's put away <clears throat> that'll be four just a little bit of width given to him by the off spinner and Atapatu made no mistake yes up until then no boundaries of the spinners but that one just a little bit too short and Marvin Atapatu really does play that shot well that's perhaps his best shot Shot back to continue. Good shot, straight down the ground. Right, well, it looks as if Arjuna is going to take the initiative here. Now, obviously, this youngster is bowling very well. He's kept them quiet, and the question now is, can Arjuna unsettle him? Well, no one playing in international cricket now has been playing longer than Arjuna. Very experienced campaigner. And he knows he's got a youngster against him. He's got to take the attack to him. Lovely use of the feet there, getting right down to him. And putting him straight back overhead for four. It's well fielded. He didn't quite hit it in the middle of the bat. Robin Singh has kept himself very fit. He's 35 years of age and made a late start in international cricket. Born in Trinidad, but uh, went back to India as a teenager. That played alongside Brian Lara in the Trinidad teenage team before he went for India and has kept himself very fit and he's been outstanding in the field today 100 for three it's not going to be a maiden <laughs> in fact uh, I missed the two earlier on so still tidy though he's doing pretty well and one short well you don't often see that one run short, and uh, it was the captain down the far end. Well, that's well done. He's got that away nice and fine. It's running away down towards the boundary. He won't get there, though. Just the two runs. Indian spinners have done a wonderful job. Chopra, in particular, playing only his second game. It's been really Diver! impressive. Again, a direct hit. And the third empire being called for. Just get the feeling that Atapadu might have made his ground. But with a direct hit, you never know. It's always very close with a direct hit. But I think Atapadu certainly did make his ground. I think the man that might have had a few problems would have been Arjuna Ratunga. The days of the fielder is in quite safely. He's a long way in. So no problems there for the third empire. Marvin Ajapadu comfortably home. It's a long time being taken for the lights to be put on here. Well, finally the green light comes on. in the air for a little while but again good placement by Ranatunga. Atapadu wanting to that could be trouble and a misfield there allowing them to come back for the second. Again hesitation between the two batsmen.
And again, he goes for the big one, and this one is a really big one. That's the first six of the game. And that brings the crowd to its feet. That's what he was trying to do with his delivery before this one, Arjuna. Didn't quite get close enough to it. On that occasion, this time he goes right through the shot. And that's a clean hit. Let's come off the edge. A long chase for the man, that shot third man. Two more runs to the Sri Lankan captain. Was pretty expensive in his first spell, Agaka. Again, looking for the quick single, he'll have to hurry. Luckily for Ranatunga, Robinson didn't collect that ball cleanly. Well, we know Arjuna Ranatunga is not the quickest man on this field. Robin Singh, if he had collected this, I think he certainly would have an out outstanding chance of running him out. Of course, he would have had to have hit the stumps as well. And yet again, Arjuna Ramatunga has done it for Sri Lanka in a potential crisis. And a typical Ramatunga paddle. But, uh, when he came in, three wickets had fallen in very quick succession. Yes, this is very good cricket. He knows the man's on the boundary square, so he's not trying to hit it hard. He's just trying to paddle it away at least two, sometimes four, depending on how well he times it. Put it down. Perhaps uh, came in this a little bit too late. Dive forward and Chopra. Uh, Kumble couldn't quite get the hands under it enough to hold on well this guy is slow ball yes it is well bowled the off break action holding the ball back did everything right i think chopra just didn't judge it right taken so agatha gets the wicket which was denied him by that drop catch early in the over deceiving uh, ramatunga and taking the catch himself, and that's a big break for, Sri Lanka, for India, with the Sri Lankan captain being dismissed. Not a good slow ball, just not enough pace, and Arjuna Ranatunga looking to run around the corner, found the ball wasn't there, and then just chipped it back to the bowler, who's taken a very, very good catch. So they lost the wicket just when they didn't want to, Sri Lanka. 175 for four. So Kalawith Arana, he's up the non-striker's end. Not for long. Single brings him into strike now. Fine shot. Beautifully played on top of it. Hit the gap. And a lovely boundary. Very good shot, this. He really waited for it. Played it when it went past his body. There wasn't a lot of room there, but he used it to perfection. He's a short man. And this one skidded onto him, but he's really played it delicately and right into the gap. 52-60. He really has to start taking a few risks, Marvin Adipatu. There's plenty of space. Spare of the wicket on the offside. And this is well fielded. Flighted. And uh, he's really got down well to his left. Really should be looking for a second here. They do this time and get it. Yes, and that's in the 41st over. He should have perhaps been in the 21st. So Marvin Adipato reaches his half century. He's 50. 74 deliveries. That's his 12th time he's passed half century in one day internationals. It's 194 for four. That's a bat first, I think. We have to wait for the umpire and run two.
Oh, he's hit that one well. That's a good shot into the gap on the offside. Will it be cut off? Yes, it is. The Indians are very committed in the field. Ganguly down there diving away to his right to cut that one off. Yes, good effort in the deep there by Ganguly, but that was well timed by Atapadu. Well, there's the field, and uh, just have a look at the deep man on the onside. There's one back here on the onside, right on the boundary, and a fine leg going back as well. There's a man saving one on the onside there, and uh, of course a deep long on the boundary here. Oh, in the air, straight down the ground, well played. Kalu with Arana deciding to use his feet, and uh, he's hit the Gurkha straight down the ground for four. Yes, this is a very good cricket shot. He picked the spot nicely, Kalu with Arana. He always knew where he was going to hit it, didn't hit across the line, went through with the shot. And uh, once he cleared that man at mid-off, that was always going to be four. He's always looking to hit straight. Oh, well fielded. Mohamed Asladin, he does it well, diving full length to his left that time. Oh, that's got to be close. Yes, he's given him his LBW. That's a good delivery right up there. There have been a lot of uh, queries today for LBW. The umpires have basically said not out, but that was up and that was straight. And uh, unfortunately, that is also the end of Marvin Adeparu. Yes, again, like Kalu Vatana, he was trying to score on the onside. He's trying to walk across the stumps and uh, chip it around the corner. Look here. He knows fine leg is up in the circle. And he was eyeing that spot, but Srinath was bang on target. Right up into the block hole. No problems for the umpire. Atapadu's fine innings comes to an end. And Sri Lanka at this stage, 228 for 6. Just short of the fieldsman, just wide of him as well. He's a useful man to have in your side at this stage of the innings, Chaman Dawas. Team, when the main, main order, uh, middle order fail, we, uh, I have to put the head down and back and get some runs. On leg stump, flicked away, this could, oh, just short. Chopra came charging in. A couple of occasions, the Indians just have backed off a little bit. Well, that's the end of the over. 235 for six. Bowled in. Clean bowl. Good bowling that was. Well, Chaminda Boss had to go for it. He's been sent out there with just a few overs to go, and uh, he was doing the right thing. However, sometimes it doesn't work, and it didn't that time. Well, certainly didn't work on that occasion. Srinath once again bang on target. It's the off-spinner, the fastest off-spinner. That really rattles the middle stump. Chaminda was playing a little too early, missing it all together and losing his wicket. 238 for 7. Oh, he's got him, he's gone. Yes, yes, yes. All over. No, the umpire saying he didn't touch it. Well, this will be an interesting replay. I reckon that the bowler there, how can he appeal if he hasn't touched it? Well, was he trying to fox the umpire? We shall soon find out. That was firmly struck. Very difficult to say from that angle, but if Srinath has got his hands to it, then the batsman is run out. Again, the fastest shot break. Now, take a look here. Well, again, very difficult to say. The way Srinath appealed, he was convinced. Oh, good shot. Just the one. Back for the second, in fact. A fumble. Yes, I thought there was a change of direction of the ball. A slight change. Just let's have another look at it. Very interesting replay, this one. Here's another angle of it. Just see if we can see it touch the end of his fingers. Down she goes. Is he anywhere near it? Well, very hard to tell, isn't it? The, uh, the umpire was beautifully placed, and he said not out. Full toss. It's better over pitching. He's bowled this over very well. Just a single again. So, one ball to go. The crowd won a six.
They want to see the Sri Lankans finish with a big one. Tenduko, a ball, a low full toss again. Oh, and uh, an inside edge and just a single. Well, any team would settle for that in the last over. Yes, a very good job by the Indians here to restrict the Sri Lankans to 245 for seven after they got off to a really flying start. Sri Lanka making 245 in the quarter of 50 overs, 250s, one by Gunawardna, the other by Marvin Atapattu, made sure that they got to that total eventually. The Indian bowlers were pretty impressive. Two wickets for Srinath, two for Agurkha, two for Kumble, one for Chopra, and they did a really is facing Noin Zoyser. Edge, and going down, so that Kalaratana couldn't get to it, so it goes for four. But fortunate. sent the Sri Lankans into a state of delirium and he's drawn silence from the majority of the crowd around here. Sachin Tendulkar, having scored two successive hundreds in his last two innings on this ground, now goes cheaply and Chaminda Bas has struck. Well, this one's just gone on with the arm. Sachin has really launched himself at it. And, uh, well, judge for yourself. Kalu, he took it well in the end, he had to adjust his hands because it bounced a little higher. He was emphatic. I don't think Sachin Tindoka was convinced to hit it. The umpire is the one that counts, and he said he did. Caught behind. A wild shot once more. Not dissimilar to the one which got Sachin Tindoka. It now causes Ganguly's wicket. Surely would have been a wide had he not gone after it. India, 13 for two. Well, he had a couple of opportunities in the previous over. And Zoyza has really got what they call a bus ticket, which is a lucky wicket. It skids on a bit with the arm. And Ganguly going hard after it. Under edge. Kalu takes a catch. He's absolutely delighted. It's not a... Uh, a great delivery, but India lose their second, 13 for two. Couple here for Azradin to finish off the over. Another fine over from Chaminda Bas. India 19 for two after seven overs. Mongia is with Mohammad Azradin. In the air, just wide and on, that's what play. It's running down towards the boundary, that'll go all the way. That's well played. That'll relieve the pressure just a little bit. As is on strike. Oh, it's in the air, over the top of the wicket keeper's head and down to the fence for four. That was well bowled. Young Zoyza decided to let him have one. He went for the hook shot and it could quite easily have gone straight up. Well, Michael Holding was talking about a dash of luck. He has another example of it. Second bit of luck now for India. Zoyza is not a very quick bowler. But in these limited over games, batsmen don't really expect fast bowlers or medium paces to be bowling short balls. As within there was caught on the front foot. He was looking to come forward and the caught with a very good short ball. Yes, I think they've got it right down in Australia, Michael. They've reintroduced one short delivery without any penalty whatsoever per over so if you're a fast bowler and you want to let someone have it you go ahead and do it oh good shot well played he's blasted that one through the covers he didn't quite middle it but it'll get there four to the total and four very welcome runs to Mohammad Azuddin oh good shot that's a big one straight down the ground all the way yes it's a big six Lion Mongia has decided that he is not going to let Dharamasena dominate. Lovely shot. But we have to also remember that Darren is no more a lethal run for Sri Lanka. 
Oh, this will be close. Yes, yes. Is he asking the question? No, he's not. Well, a direct hit. He must have been well home. He's very quick. That was good fielding, though. Damasena himself doing the fielding. But Ajudin is well home. Over the top, straight down the ground. Did he get it off the middle? It's running away towards the boundary. Yes, it's hit the fence. Well, the Indians are starting to get a few fours away. And you can see the bowlers straight away starting to get a little panicky. Once the fielder back there. Oh, he's hit that one too. That's a great shot. Down a square leg, just short of the boundary. Well, he knew the man was there, but he was behind square, and Mongia hit it in front of square. Well, it's uh, brought a smile or two to a few faces. This is a good shot. That ball was hit well in front of square. You can see that it wasn't a particularly bad ball. But again, no turn. The batsman had no problem hitting it in front of square. This pitch, the ball is just coming onto the bat. Again, taking the Adrian route and timing it nicely, Nayan Mungia. He'll get another boundary here. He was sent in at number three to the, play the role of a pinch hitter, and so far he's not let his side down. That's nicely placed by Mohamed Azaruddin. He'll get two here. And that'll end the over. Five runs coming off it, 76 for two. And more runs for the Indians. Soft. In the air and into the gap, just a little lucky there. He was soft to him, going down the wicket, and uh, that one was well bowled. Samara Weir just uh, bowling that one a little straight. Uh, very, very whippy with his wrists. Uh, not hard to pick him when he's batting. You just watch how he knock, nudges him away on the onside. We said that one, he opens the face and nudges it on the offside. So that's the 100 partnership. Yes, that's felt played. Mongia, 50. That's his second 50. 60 balls, five fours and a six. In the air, that's it. I've got him. At last, the Sri Lankans have broken through, and that's a big wicket for them. Mongia, however, has played a very good knock. He's out, caught by Russia and Mahanaba. And uh, that's the one they needed. What's the name of that crater, Michael? Well, they are calling for the third umpire, but I am not too sure that Srinath will find himself in any trouble at all. Sri Lankans don't look that excited. Yes, well, let's have a look, see what uh, happens here. Um, oh, he's out. Well, that's dreadful running. Well, I've got to say, you know, for me, it serves him right. I, I just can't understand why he'd be out there anyhow. And it, it's only tailenders that do things like this. So, uh, Srinath's out, run out. Let's get the red light on and let's get a batsman in. Yes, that's, that's really uh, uh, very, very silly. He must have misjudged totally the line. And that's the end of him. And so now, with a bit of luck, we'll see one of the batsmen come in. Who should have been in in the first place? India, 119 for four. Some tremendous support of all ages. And that's a better shot from Jadeja. 
He's lofted it over the infield and they need a little bit more of that. He's got a little bit inside it. Jaya Sarias fired it down leg and he's just lifted it over mid on. Very good shot indeed. Didn't try and hit it too hard. Nice control over the shot. Just flicking it over mid on's head. And that keeps the scoreboard ticking over. Just gave himself a little bit of room to chip it over mid on. Very good play. And he's done it again. We haven't had a four for 17 overs, and now we've had two in succession from Jadeja, and two very well struck indeed. But he does it in the grand style. So having waited for seven deliveries for that 50, Azradin comes down and hoists a six, not only to raise his own 50 in uh, 98 deliveries. That's his first six and second of the innings. Beautifully played, all the way down and over the top. Got it through and goes all the way. Dunn is uh, confident this time, he doesn't have to call for the television replay. That's a big one, that's six. Well, that should prevent it from climbing too high. One blow. The runs needed per over is achieved. Eight runs off this over already. Two balls to go. And again. And the result is the same. That's gone out of the ground. So consecutive sixes here for the Indian captain. And this will really ease the pressure of the Indian side. Ravinder De Silva being introduced into the attack now. That's another six. And it's out of the ground as well. So Mohamed Azaruddin here hitting some big ones. He's bowled in. Trying to steer it down the third man. Shaman Dawas has gone past Mohamed Azaruddin's defence to end a superb knock by the Indian captain. So just the wicket Sri Lanka were looking for Mohamed Azaruddin dismissed. A very good knock indeed. I think he realised that this was needed, Mohamed Azaruddin. And he delivered. Good bowling though by Shaman Dawas. He has been keeping the ball pretty much in line with the stumps every time he has bowled. An excellent knock. 94 runs from 131 balls when his team was in desperate straits. India are 198 for five. And that'll be a wide. Just drifting down the leg side to the left-hander. Nicely timed by Robinson. Get a couple for it. Done. This is big trouble. It's hit the stumps directly. The Sri Lankans are celebrating. Jadeja was called for a cheeky single by Robinson, but has he made his ground? Well, this is not a single that they should have attempted. And now we are seeing exactly why. The ball went straight to the fielder. He didn't have to go to his left or his right. He just came charging in, picked it up, and hit the stumps full on. And more times than not, when the stump is hit full on, that's the end for the batsman.
wicket. It's 207 for six. He's off the mark. It's 208 for six. Just missed the stumps. That's the end of the over. Two oh, there's going to be a run out. Yes, there's going to be a run out. Arabin has got him. A little dab down to third man. Paddock sets in, you see. Robin Singh has been running for almost everything. That time it wasn't really his call. It was Chopra's call down the other end. He wanted one. Singh said no. And of course, Chopra was standard. So, the boy is run out in his second match. Real tension out there. And it showed potential down behind the point for the off spinner. And as, as Robin Singh turned his back on Chopra, there was no way he could get home. Comfortable run out, fall of another wicket for India, more pressure on them. 29 off 18, so they need a boundary or two now, and uh, Arjuna is going to make this as tough as he possibly can for him. The guard goes on strike, and he hits them, it's gone all the way, oh what a hit, all the way for six. That's exactly what India needed. A wonderful shot. Tremendous blow by Gurkha. Really got hold of this one. That relieves the pressure. That now gives India a pretty good chance. It looked as if it was slipping. And that went a long, long way. Came off the meat of the bat. From the time you heard the sound, you knew it was gone. single or two here. Well bowled. He's going to bowl it outside off stump from round the wicket. Two men behind square on the offside, saving one. He'll try and get him to just run it down there. That's a good line. He's going to try and sweep everything. Right, will they come? In goes the throw. Oh, it's way over the top. Three balls in this over, left from the silver. It's going to be out, Joyce Aria. Oh, he's dropped it. He's, he's headed over the fence. It's gone for six. Joyce Aria has palmed it over the fence. So India just need two, and the hero. It was a third wicket partnership of 104 between Azruddin and Nain Mongia that made sure that India won the match by three wickets. Nain Mongia promoted up the order, made 51 from just 63 deliveries, from one thousand balls. Well, the Sri Lanka is not penetrated enough to beat India. Chaminda Vas picked up two for 19, Sam Ravira one for one, the others didn't. Winning the game by three wickets, man of the match, Mohammad Azur.